Hi, I'm Bryn. Today I'm doing my makeup collection video and um, I'm 18. But yeah, I'm not going to do a fucking disclaimer because that's bullshit. I don't actually have to explain myself. But all I'm going to say is it's not just fucking makeup to me. I used to self-harm, as we can see. And one of my one of my coping go-to coping skills was always just distraction, doing something to get my mind off of it. And when I first started getting into makeup, anytime I'd have urges, I'd just sit right here in my bed and I do my makeup to just distract myself and keep myself from self-harming. So that just really got me into it. So it was a coping skill for me. It's not just about like making myself look pretty. <laughs> But yeah, I love makeup. Um, I work hard at my job and I blow all my money on makeup. You can ask anybody I know is the problem. <laughs> and then I get some makeup for like my birthday and Christmas and whatever. But ain't nobody sending me shit for free. So yeah, I've worked hard for my makeup collection. I'm very proud of it. It's my baby. It brings me so much joy just looking at it. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. All right, so I'm just gonna start with what's on top of my vanity. Here's a little overview. And then I have two Alex Five drawers. Ma'am, ma'am. So yeah, I'm just gonna start with what's on top. Over here, I have my pre-calc textbook and a brush. Back here, I have like a little stuffed Narwhal, and then I just have a bunch of like perfumes for like Bath and Body Works and shit. I have a coin jar, a little uniform thing with some jewelry in it, with some Nordstrom box that I had, that um my earrings came in and I just keep my ne my necklace in it and my earrings in it while I'm sleeping. My Clarisonic, my glasses, and my cup. So yeah, I don't have to worry about that. And then. In this little cup that a Tarte brush set came in, I just have some lippies. So I have six ColourPop lippy sticks, and then I have three Tarte lip surfaces. These two, these two look the exact same, but they're not the same thing. Whatever. And then I have three little lipstick organizers that I got from at home. They were like $3 a piece or something. So I have all my MAC lipsticks in here. Then I have one NARS Audacious lipstick. I have four Tarte Hydrate, whatever the heck those are. And then five Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. Here I just have this mug that I keep like a bunch of pens and pencils in. And then I have scissors and tweezers and stuff in there. And then right here I keep all my setting sprays and I also keep a couple bits that don't really have another home so i have the elf makeup mist and set the nyx matte finish a little scandinavia sample and then i have my fenty gloss here because i don't have anywhere nowhere else to put it and then i have my cover effects celestial drops because they're too tall to stand up in the drawers so yeah and then i have Smashbox primer water all nighter some mario badescu rose water spray that i'm just about to use up and then i have the scandinavia primer spray and setting spray and then mac fix plus over here can you do you see what i have to deal with can you please not do these things oh my god anyways so here are my like is my like lipstick thing on top i just have a little unicorn then i have my mug which has lip liners in it I'll turn my light on and then on the top drawer, I just have all my glosses, my high-end glosses. So I have two from Buxom and then four from Bare Minerals. And then this is my liquid lipsticks that are not matte drawers. So I have two of the Bite Beauty Liquid 5 lipsticks and then four ColourPop Ultra Satins. And um, these are just two, it's two um, sets of two drawers that I got from at home and they were like 20 bucks a piece, I think, ma'am. This drawer, I keep my matte liquid lipsticks and I went through and got rid of like a ton. So yeah, this is basically all that I have left now. So I have 
Kat Von D Lolita, three from Anastasia, two from Too Faced, which are probably my favorite, and I have one from The Bomb, two from Black Moon Cosmetics, and then one from MAC. And then the bottom drawer, I just keep all my drugstore lip products. So I have two NYX Butter Glosses, two Revlon Ultra HD whatever the heck lip colors, five NYX Suede Liquid Lipsticks, and then three little crayons, one from L'Oreal, two from e.l.f. Below that, I have four Revlon lipsticks, and then I have um, four Maybelline lipsticks, two Milani lipsticks, and then like shoved in the back, I have a couple random lipsticks, and then a couple wet and wild lipsticks. Then over here to the corner, I just keep my fan, I keep a charger from my instant, extension, extension cord, and then I have a little jar here which just has eye makeup remover in it, and then my fan, I don't know where the hell it's from, and I have four cups of brushes, these cups were from the dollar store, I believe. And yeah, I just have a bunch of different brushes from all kinds of brands. My favorites are Wet n Wild, Real Techniques, and then Morphe, but I'd only buy the Elite Collection because the, yeah, I'm a synthetic ass bitch when it comes to brushes. So, and then I just have two other jars back there that don't have anything in them. And I also have a little poof coming off my lamp. And then off to the side, I keep my mirror which is just random ass basic mirror <laughs> and i have this little cup i just have this little jar that has a scrunchie around it in case i need it and then i have liquid i have minis in here so i have a bite duo thing two from ciate one mini cat Von D, a mini tart liquid lipstick a mini tart lip surgeons and then just ballistics so that lives here and then i have my little baby piggy bank I have my pot lipstick, lipstick, blistex. I have my current toner, which is the Skin Laundry Balancing Antioxidant Toner, just sitting up here so it's easy to reach. I have a little sticky note guy because he's cute, and then I have some lotions. And then this is the aux cord from my thing, ma'am. So yeah, this set is mainly face products. Can you not? So the top drawer is all base products so in the first compartment right here i have all my high-end foundations so i have fenty charlotte tilbury smashbox makeup forever stick a little baby makeup forever sample and my tart stick urban decay all nighter two tart amazonian clay estee lauder double wear market jacobs remarkable and then two shades of the um two faced born this way Tucked in at the side here, I just keep my concealers. So I have Urban Decay. Can you not see? This is why I had to move these because she's obsessed with them. They used to be somewhere else, but she can't. She has no self-control. Stop. So yeah, they had to go somewhere else. Oh my god. Okay, so I had to move my Q-tips because she kept fucking with them, but whatever. I have Maybelline, Tarte. Two faced and then a wet and wild and two Catrice. And that's just and that's just all my concealers. This little blue tub I got from the dollar store. Um, yeah. And then I just have my deodorant shoved in right here. Gotta get this out of the way before she here, ready? Go get it. Thank you. Just have my deodorant shoved in here so it's easy to reach. In the middle here, I had my q tips in a little like cap from something so yeah and then i just have my beauty bonders and sponges tucked in right there and then in the middle i have translucent powder so i have my number seven laura mercier and then um rcma and this tub basket whatever the hell i keep my drugstore foundations and my powders so i have the maybelline fit me powder revlon photo ready tart and then i have the mix drops i have two wet and wild Powders, and then a Maybelline powder and then here I just have two Milani Conceal and Perfects um, Maybelline Better Skin, L'Oreal Lumi, Wet n Wild Photo Focus, Maybelline Fit Me, and CoverGirl 3-in-1 And then right here I just keep my primers in an old 
iPhone box. So also right here, I just have the ordinary high spreadability for fluid primer so I didn't have anywhere else to really put it. So in here, I have my beloved Too Faced Hangover RX, the Fenty, a bunch of little minis of the Max Strobe Cream, NYX Angel Veil, Bobbi Brown Face Bra Face Base, Dr. Brant Pores No More, the Makeup Forever Smoothing, and the Ordinary High, or, um, high Adherence Primer, I believe that one is. So that's all though. That's the wrong thing. This is that. And those just kind of live right back there. So that's everything in the top drawer. In the second drawer, I keep cheek products. So these boxes are just like boxes that i got when i ordered shit online this and this one this one's just a face like a holder so that everything stays where it's situated right now and then the other half of the iphone box <laughs> so this drawer it's funny to me because um here's my highlighters here's my blushes and bronzers so yeah in my highlighter thing i have <laughs> two from what and wild back here i have two from bobby brown physician's formula physician's formula four of the wet four of the wet and wild highlighters i can't get them out i have the fenty metal moon highlighter in the middle i just have a dosa colors highlighter and ice ice baby and then i have the maybelline master chrome the kylie santorini glow thing which is insane and then I have three little loose highlighters from Star Crush Minerals. Back here I have MAC Soft and Gentle. And then MAC Double Gleam, which is another one of my favorites. It's really good. I have Becca Moonstone, which is on his last legs. As as you can see. And then I have the Essence Pure Nude, Mary Luminizer, two of the Pixie Aspen Ovard Highlighters, two from La Rock, one from the Elf um, Moonlight Pearls, Moonlight Pearls, whatever it is, and then I have two from Hidden Cosmetics that are loose highlighters again right in here. Just tucked in at the side, I have any cream or liquid highlighters, so I have one from Elf, one from Maybelline, I have Anastasia Perla, a buxom liquid highlighter and then becca and then right here i have my four ColourPop highlighters and then i have two of the powder highlighters from ColourPop. pop and then i just keep my fenty match six trio right here because he fits perfectly i have the two wet and wild contour palettes here and then i have both of the elf blush palettes here and then i have this um, Maybelline blush palette. And then in this little Mac thing that a gift set came in, I keep a couple highlighters that, cause I don't own any magnetic palettes to put them in yet. So they're just chilling in there for protection. And then in this iPhone box, I have my blushes and bronzers. So at the back, I have my NYC Sun and Browns that I have to repress with alcohol cause I dropped it again. I have my number seven caramel highlighter. Positions Formula Butter Bronzer, which girl you need. Becca, what do I have? Bali Sands, which is pretty too. I have Hula, and then I have Cindy Luminizer. I have Tarte. What shade is this? Glisten? Nope. Peaceful. And then I have my two Essence Satin Touch blushes, which are a big, big yes. I have a little baby Tarte pampered blush another little baby tart blush in the shade party for the birthday gift this year and then i have a baby Too faced chocolate sundae so that's everything in the second drawer third drawer i keep all my face palettes and then other random bits and bobs right here on the top i keep the tart what is this actually called blush bazaar uh, i can't open it palette which is wonderful. Ma'am. 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 Can you move, please? Thank you. And then I have the part, what is this called? Wipeout Color Correcting Palette. And I have my three Anastasia Glow Kits, Sun Dipped Gleam, and that glow. Yeah. And then I have this 
the limited edition Sonia Kashuk palette. The little baby Tarte Tartist palette. Pro Glow to Go. The Tarte Skin Twinkle Volume 2, which... And these two shades are incredible. Love this lighting. And then I have the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. The Tarte Tartist Pro Glow. The Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. The Anastasia Contour Kit, the Lorac Pro Contour Palette, ma'am. <laughs> Can you please not? And then just right here, I have this Lorac California Dreaming Blush Palette. Ugh. Stop. Like that. So, yeah, that's everything of importance in this drawer. And here I just have like backup cotton bubbles, paper towels, dry tooth comb. Toilet paper to blow my nose and random candy canes from Christmas. This drawer doesn't have makeup. Neither does this drawer really. I just keep like samples and shit. So on to the other side is where I keep most of my um eye products. Anyways. So in this top drawer, ma'am. I keep all my eyelashes and then like random bits and bobs. So in this little drawer from a thing that I used to use, I keep my actual cotton ovals ready to go. And then I have lens wipes tucked in here for use. Then I have these Eyelore 126s shoved at the front here so that Daisy can't reach her paw in as much. Because my Q-tips used to be right here, but she kept destroying them. And then in this little tub... I keep like a bunch of random essentials. So I have like scrunchies, clips, hand sanitizer, a lint roller, pencil sharpener, neosporin, band-aids, nail clippers, etc. And then my lashes. I have four different lily lashes back here. Social eyes. One old ass one from Blinking Butte. More social eyes. What are these called? Coco lashes. House of Lashes. Where are these from? Ace Beauté. And then more House of Lashes up here. And then tucked in the side, I have Ardell. And more Ardell chilling on the top. Tucked in the back, I have like random ass shit. And then tucked in the back right here, I have like backup lashes. The second drawer is all my single eye products. So in the front, I have lash glue. Then I have my four ColourPop, what are these called? Super Shock Shadows. And then I just have all my glitters. These are all from Star Crush Minerals. And then these are from MAC. So, yeah. And then this box, again, was like a box that I got when I ordered something online. And I keep all my single shadows in here. And then like a couple extra bits and bobs again. I have the elf mad for matte palette this is the shade holy smokes and then i also have the mad format and summer breeze and then back here i have the milani one of the milani palettes and then in disregard this this is my recycling box so anyway <laughs> and then i have this elf aqua beauty what is this called island breeze palette and then I have a super duper old Sephora 5 shadow eyeshadow palette, but whatever. Eh. How did I make this fit? There we go. And then right here I have two Essence shadows chilling. And then if I could stop saying and then every four seconds, that'd be awesome. Um, I have five NYX single shadows. They're, I think, mostly matte. And then I have four L'Oreal Infallible shadows. And then a Urban Decay Moon Midnight Cowboy Rides Again shadow. I have two MAC Soft Serve shadows, which are basically glitter. And they're nice for, like, top coats. Um, I have three NYX pigments, a MAC Vanilla pigment, and then three little MAC Baby pigments that came in a holiday set. Back here, I have another one of those blue baskets from the dollar store, which I keep all my other eye products in. So I have primer, brow pencils, eyeliner pencils. I have a bunch of, like, four of these elves. 
liquid shadows um nyx micro brow pencil my beloved essence extreme last pencil um brow gel again my beloved ulta beauty like aqua gel eyeliner i have an urban decay liquid liner that's white pony cosmetics brow gel a bunch of different mascaras right now i'm using the wet n wild max volume and i think i also have this one opened yeah and then, yeah i just have like a bunch of other shit. I have dip brow nyx glitter primer i have a little old ass rimmel brow toy yeah and then chub weighing back i have a like beauty blender box that i would keep on my back no that i have keep my backup sponges in so right now i only have one morphe sponge in there but that's why they chill until i use them and then in this little box i have no idea what the hell that's from i keep my two natasha denona holiday palettes which are amazing and then i also keep any like really short brushes well this one the other end fell off but like i couldn't keep them in my cups because it'd just be a mess so i keep either really short brushes or my double-ended brushes in here just so that they're laying down and don't get messed up this another one of those little drawers from an old ass thing i keep like liquid products so i have two ColourPop supernova shadows i have three urban decay glitter liners and then two Stila Magnificent Metals. I have Rose Gold Retro and Kitten Karma. And then I have three gel liners from Tarte. I have white, mint, and then like a nice just blue shade. I have two little elf shadow pots and then my MAC Soft Ochre Pant Coat. My makeup wipes chilling right here and then backup makeup wipes in the back. And the third drawer, I keep all my eyeshadow palettes. So you can tell I have a problem. Standing up here, I keep like standard sized eyeshadow palettes. So I have the Anastasia World Traveler, Anastasia Self Made, Anastasia Modern Renaissance, Anastasia Prism. And I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bon, the Rock Pro, the Balm Nude Tude and Nude Dude. And I have the Colored Rain. What is this even called? Queen of Hearts palette, which is, oh, bitch. This is so hard to do with one hand, holy shit. Um, please hold. There we go. Are you kidding me? Uh, disregard. Terrible. Whatever. Then, I have the Tarte Clay Play. The <laughs> Natasha Denona Sunset Palette, which I sold my firstborn child for. And then the Natasha Denona Leela Palette, which I sold my left kidney for. And then I have the three Sephora palettes, the Warm, Cool, and Editorial, because I am disgusting and I have no self-control. Tucked in, tucked over here, I have like weird sized eyeshadow palettes, so buried in here. I have the Smashbox, what are these called? Hover Shot? Yeah, uh, the bold one. And then I have the NYX Ultimate palette, Tarte Poppy Picnic. Tarte Tartlet and Bloom, Tarte Tartlet, Neat Matte Nude, Neat Matrimony, and then right here I just have other like palettes. <laughs> I have the Tarte Tartist Pro, which is awesome. I have the Makeup Geek Manny palette, the um, Tarte Man Eater, and then a little Sephora palette, which has three blue eyeshadows in it. Oh my god. So that's that. And then. I have my big palettes laying down. So I have my Lorac Mega Pro 2, which I love. The Morphe Jack Mountain palette, which again is a big yes. And I taped my thing up here before I saw anyone else do it on Twitter. <laughs> I have the Lorac Mega Pro 3, which I should use more because, like, are you kidding? And then I have the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette, which I should use more, except these pans are ginormous. This thing is gigantic. Anyways, I have the Morphe, which one's this? The 350 original one. Yeah. Um, 
I have the Morphe 35F, which is also pretty. I'm just opening everything. It's fine. And then the OG Morphe Jacqueline Hill. This thing should probably be condemned, but it's fine. And then tucked in the back. If I could stop saying tucked in the back, that'd be awesome. But tucked in the back, I have the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette, which is very colorful and weirdly shaped. So he just hides in the back. That's what she looks like. And then I have the Juvia's Place Zulu palette. And the Ace Beauté Quintessential palette. Which is also very pretty. So, yes. Please hold. Look, everybody's back in their assigned seats. So that's that drawer. This drawer is all skincare. Yeah, if you have any interest in that, just let me know. And then this last drawer is also random ass bits and bobs. So I have like a random bag of cords slash batteries, bobby pins, index cards, brush cleaner, more brush cleaner, a stress ball, you know. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. Just reproach this. This freaking fell off my light like five minutes ago. It's fine. So that was my makeup collection. I hope you liked that. If you did, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Uh, yeah.